Well, Danvers girls basketball, you guys are 7-2 and two right now. What's it like uh, being on this team? It's really awesome being on this team. We have a lot of team chemistry this year, so we can take everything, like, relax and slow down, and we just kind of have fun with each other, and I think that's what makes it so great. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest part is there's no like yelling. We don't yell at one another. We just try to help each other. So if someone's not doing something right, we don't want to give them negative comments. We want to like support them and carry them through. So I mean, but there's never any fights on the team. So I think that's the biggest part. <laughs> no fights, Elena. Yeah, people know that every everything that we say on court is nothing personal. Like everybody knows that we're just trying to help them all out. How about a big game for you guys so far this year with a, either a win or a loss? Um, I think a big game that we won was probably in the beginning of the season, Classical. They had a lot of good girls that we had to stop, and I think we did a good job doing and, that. And they've done very well since then. Julia, how about yourself? I agree with Classical, but I also think Peabody because as we're Danvers, they're Peabody. We've always had a rivalry with them. We always want to beat them, and this year we were so hyped to play them. We wanted to beat them so bad, and when we came out, we played we played great that game, and they didn't come out playing as strong, so that's just like a personal win, I think, for our team because, I don't know, we just beat them, and I can't say they beat Danvers this year. Yeah. And Nicole, how about yourself? I think that we had a couple last-minute wins with Beverly, Classical, and English, and I think they all just really tied together because we had people step up in big time, so... It was really good to get those wins. And for you guys, you have a huge week coming up with a big non-league game on Monday night against Groton Dunstable. And uh, tell us about this week coming. You got Swamp Scott and then uh, Revere. Um, this week is definitely going to be a stretch. I mean, we have Groton, we have Swamp Scott, and we have Revere. Um, Revere is going to be a real, real, real tough game because they're obviously undefeated, and, and it'll be good to knock them off their horse a little bit. But we're going to be busy. We have midterms. We have games. Like it's going to be stressful, but we can do it. Midterms, big games, big week. Yeah, I think I think we're in a little slump right now. We haven't been doing or everything. We haven't had the team chemistry like at its highest. So I think we need to come out this week, and we can't fall back. We can't be behind because of these games. And we know that we don't know anything about Grand Dunstable. I don't even know where that is. So I have nothing. I have no idea who they are. I know they're like a tournament game. So I know we just need to come out there. That's the, that might be the toughest one. Maybe I really don't know Revere. It might be the hardest though. Well, I think Groton and. Revere would both be very tough. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really worried though. I think I'm a little confident. I think we can bust maybe a couple out. So I think that'll be good for us. As we pan out here, you got a you got a practice going on here at uh, at Danvers High School. But uh, so, other than you you three captains, uh, can you single out a player that that might have uh, stepped up so far this year for you? Um. Well, uh, there's a couple, but I'll just talk about one. And Sarah McCarriston, she's really good to get off the bench, especially when our shooters aren't having a good night. She can come out and shoot them threes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Julia, who, who might you pick? Uh, I'd probably pick Lily Montanari. She came out of nowhere this year, first tryout. We were like, wow, like what she missed. She missed. She made every shot. Like I don't think she missed a shot for like the first two weeks of practice. We were like, where did this come from? We're like, oh my gosh. And then the first three games, I think she had like 10. Yeah, she had the winning points. The last was it Peabody and Classical? She had winning, no, Peabody and English. English winning and points. And she, yeah. She had, yeah she's she had very really. calm under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> And how about, who, who might you pick, uh, I think Nicole? I'd definitely pick um, Sarah Hunter. She's just come off the bench, the first one off the bench every single time, and she just busts her butt every single time she gets on the court. She takes fast breaks, she takes charges, she takes layups, she does all the right stuff, so 